I showed some people the other day um, my astrophotography work and they said it's really cool and they wanted to know how I went from this to that basically. So what we've got here is this is a screen capture from a video file. I didn't record the video. I don't have a good enough telescope. Uh, it came from YouTube. But had I recorded it, I would still want to take my own video stuff to this level. This in the middle is what it looks like after it comes out of Registax. So if you don't have Registax, download it and install it. It's free. And this is the part that I really want to talk about. Uh, this, I want to talk about what I did in Photoshop to make it look like this. It's not very scientific. It's just uh, aesthetics. So we're going to close these because we're going to make some more. Here's my video file. Like I said, I downloaded it. I didn't record that myself. So start, run Registax. There are a lot of videos on how to use Registax. I'm just going to show you how to do it really quickly so that you can get to the Photoshop stage. Um, basically, you import your video, select something that it can align to, and stack. Registax goes through all your frames and gets the best one. You can do a lot of stuff with it, like I said. The optimizing part takes the longest because there are multiple iterations it has to do to improve itself. We'll let that process and go ahead and start up Photoshop. Now it's stacking the images. It selected the best ones it could find, aligned them so that they were all as precise as we could get, and then uh, the stacking process eliminates a lot of the atmospheric blur. That's the whole point. Almost done. Okay. Um, what we're going to change in here is these wavelet settings. I usually take the bottom one all the way up, and you can see that made a big improvement already. And then these I don't really take up too much because mostly we're going to do the processing in Photoshop, but I usually put them around 10. Doesn't really matter that much. Do all. Save image. Save it to the desktop. We're going to save it to Saturn before. And we're going to go into Photoshop, File, Open, we have our set in part. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it three times. So we'll spread them out. This one we're just going to hide for a second. Alright. With this top right one over here, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, and then Image Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and take Contrast all the way up and the Brightness all the way down. With this one, I'm going to take Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to take the Brightness all the way down and the Contrast all the way up like before, but we're leaving the color. We're not desaturating it at all. So I'm going to take this one on the right, control A, control C, and paste it right on top of our original image. And then in our layers, I'm going to go to blending options, change the opacity to 30% is good, and the blend mode to luminosity. I know there wasn't much difference between luminosity and normal, but there is. Already, if I were to turn off the second layer, you'll see the difference. Big difference. 
we're going to take our other duplicate, control A, control C, paste it right on top of that one. And then in its blending options, we're going to take the opacity down to 50% and change the blend mode to overlay. Now, bring up our original. You can see a big difference already, can't you? So now, finally, I'm going to take this one, control A, control C, drop it on top of those. And then that one, I'm going to change the blending options, put that one also around 30%, and change the blend mode to multiply. Now, you can start to see a lot more detail. You can see cloud bands that weren't there before. You can see details in the rings that weren't there before. A lot better color quality. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Go ahead and save the whole Photoshop file so that you can remember your layers and everything. But then we're also going to save it as a regular bitmap. I like bitmaps. They're lossless. They work. And now, one final adjustment. Open up the bitmap image you had there. And now I'm just going to adjust my brightness and contrast a little bit. Usually bring both of them up a little bit, but the contrast a little more. That's good. I like that. So there you go. We went from uh, in this. We went from that's after Registax. There's our video, and that's the final image that we just made. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks.